charged with murder. A Navy veteran in need of a new friend and a dog in need of a forever home found each other today thanks to the help of the Humane Society of Saginaw County. This comes after the veteran was scammed out of hundreds of dollars hoping to get a new best friend. tv 5s Raven Blue has more on the tearful moment when this man met his new best friend. They got me in tears already. Say hello to Charles Burden, Hi. a Navy veteran who lost his beloved 14-year-old okay. Rottweiler, Pretty Girl, while he was recovering from hip replacement surgery. Burden has PTSD, depression, and anxiety. His dog was a source of comfort and companionship. I received a telephone call, and oh my goodness, I, I, I don't even want to tell you how I responded to that telephone call when they told me my dog had passed away because that was the first time she had ever been away from me. He says the loss left a void in his life, a void he hoped to fill with a new Rottweiler. Going online, Burden found an organization that claimed to have one, but asked for $1,400 for the dog. He took out a loan to get the puppy, but the group turned out to be a scam. I was very disappointed and distraught behind it because I had already lost the dog. Burden and his social worker at the VA sent letters to the Humane Society of Saginaw County asking for their help. I love you already, baby. We told him it's our mission to get him his dog. After some searching, a female Rottweiler puppy was found in Texas. The puppy, who Burden named Bay, was all wags to meet her new parent. This is a reason I've been involved in animal rescue for 27 years, is people like Charles. Th this is everything. With smiles all around, Burden and Bay drove off. Mr. Burden was so upset that he didn't get the Rottweiler that he paid for that he gave away all of his pet supplies. But thanks to Saginaw Humane Society, he left here fully stocked to live a long and joyful life with Bay. In Freeland, Raven Blue, WNEM TV5. Favorite story of the day. More local news now.